Welcome back to Poe Mrs. Channel. In this episode, we will focus on our star products, the Poe Sasma 10K. I will help you understand how this device can achieve three different application modes in split phase mode through different wiring configurations. Without further ado, let's get started. In our previous video about Poson Smart 10K, we demonstrated how to connect the inverter to solar panels, batteries, and AC input. We also connected the AC output cables to the inverter. But how should we complete the connection of the AC output cables to the other end of the load based on the actual load situation? The answer lies in changing the wiring configuration of the load end. Suppose we take the nominal output voltage of the inverter as 120 volts. By the way, the post on Smart 10K's output voltage can be set as 100, 105, 110, or 120 volts. So, in the following explanations, we will use 120 volts as the nominal AC output voltage and explore the patterns of different output voltage achieved through the various wiring configurations. First, let's look at application scenario for 120 volt load. When L1N is connected to load 1 and L2N is connected to load 2, the nominal voltage of both load 1 and load 2 will be 120 volts and the rated power can reach 5000 watt. Next, let's explore the application scenario for 240 volt load. When L1, L2 is connected to load 1 and neutral wire is not connected to the load, load 1 can achieve a nominal voltage of 240 volts with a rated power of up to 10,000 watt. Finally, let's consider the scenario where both 120 volt and 240 volt loads are connected. Connect L1N to load 1 and L1, L2 to load 2. In this case, load 1 has a nominal voltage of 120 volts, while load 2 has a nominal voltage of 240 volts. However, the rated output power of the inverter will differ from the previous two output models. The output power is not simply the average of the rated power of load 1 and load 2, or the sum of their individual rated powers, which should equal 10,000 watts. Instead, when L1N outputs 2000 watts, the L1-L2 output power will be twice the difference between the 5000 watts and the 2000 watts. Similarly, if a 3000 watt load is connected to L1N, the rated power for L1-L2 will be 4000 watts. So, those are the three split phase wiring application modes for the outputting 120 volts, 240 volts and both 120 volt and 240 volts simultaneously. If you have any questions or uncertainties regarding the content of this episode, please feel free to leave a comment and let us know. If you are unsure about complete installation, wiring and configuration procedures for the Pose on Smart 10K, you can check out our YouTube video for this episode. If you are interested in learning more about Pomisa products, please visit our website. Thank you for watching and see you next time.